In this video, we will show you how to create a UEFI bootable Linux Mint. In here, before you create UEFI bootable for Linux Mint, you can download the Linux Mint on official websites, linuxmint.com. Okay. In here, you can select the Cinnamon Edition or XFSA Edition. In here, I'm using Cinnamon Edition and I already download. You can also download the ISO file on the alternate website, the link on pinned comments. Okay, after you download the ISO files, you can see I already download the ISO files. You can download Rufus. Rufus is powerful software to create bootable USB drives. Okay, in here, to download Rufus, there are any edition. You can select portable or standard. Usually, I'm downloading the standard version. And you can put into desktop, for example. After that, you can run the Rufus because the size is very small. The Rufus is fast to download. In here, I, I click no to not check for updates. Then in here, you need to plug in your USB drive or USB media. I already plugged in my USB media. Be careful if in your USB have important data, you must back up because the Rufus will format your USB. Okay, after you prepare the USB ISO files and also have downloaded the Rufus, you can just select the ISO files. Okay, in here, I click open. As you can see, this is our USB because there is just one. Don't make a mistake if you have two USB on your computer. So you don't wrong to select the USB here. Okay, you can see there is partition scheme, MBR, master boot records, or GPT, the newer version of the partition scheme. You can select GPT for the newer. Okay, the target system is UFI because we need to create UFI for the newer system. But if your computer is older, sometimes it's only work on MBR version because if the older version usually support on BIOS. Okay, in here, because we are using UFI, just select GPT and UFI. You can uh, give the volume label for your USB. Okay, I will let it by default file system you can using ntfs or fat32 i'm using default fat32 to make compatible maybe with the older version of uh, our computers after that we can click start here write an iso image mode just click this and click ok okay after you click ok here your USB drive will be format. Once again, you need to back up or move your important files there before you click OK. After that, you can click OK here. Just wait until the processing is done. Okay, you can see partitioning using GPT that you were from the MBR version. We will wait until 100% here. Maybe we'll, we'll skip this process. Here, almost complete. Okay, after complete, we will show you how the USB become. Okay, it's all ready and done. We can close the Rufus. Okay, and then back to File Explorer. And you can see, this is your Linux Mint. And in the next video, we will try to using this to install our laptop and that's all tutorial how to create UFI bootable for Linux Mint okay don't forget to subscribe because we will continue to the next how to install the Linux Mint the Cinnamon version thanks for watching